Okay, so as I promised, we're going to do the unboxing of all the equipment that I got from uh, Midwest Supplies for the peer crew. Um, I'll probably do an overview with the camera on the tripod, and then, I don't know, I'll figure it out somehow. It's going to be tricky. I said I brought two cameras, but I only brought the one, so kind of going to go with the way it is. So, let's go ahead and start with the first box. Let's see what we got. I know what we're supposed to have, but sometimes we're supposed to have and do that are two totally different things. And this is exactly what I thought it was. Finally, we get the empty beer balls. Just you know, plain empty um, beer bottle, no marking on it, none of that. Sorry, got a little close and blurred. Plain old straight brown beer bottles. Which is two cases of that. We got two cases. Because our five gallon brew will do two cases. And roughly a little bit more. So I'm figuring, seeing as I'm not selling any of it, I will um, go ahead and um, keep that. Again, this is not going to be the setup because I did say I was going to do the unboxing and setup, but I'm not going to set it up yet. I'm going to wait till the brew day to set it up. So I'm ready to brew. So all this stuff will. Kind of pack back inside here, just for extra protection. Don't need our bottles on the bus to the ship. Um, so that here, that was the empty bottles. This box here appears to be a pretty light one. So. Well, I have to say, Midwest did package this stuff up very good. So it comes all really well packaged. Let us say that. Can't argue with that. Okay, this is the gravity testing kit. Large style thermometer. MWS 12 ounce beer bottles with bottle divider and a star sign. Table list. I guess these two boxes must have come together. I'm just going to do this like this. Make it easier. This here's the um, good focus here. What's the star sand? The sanitizer kit for the um, tank, the bottle, everything that comes in contact with the beer after it's been boiled. Guess that this would be the thermometer. Yep. 
Here's the thermometer. Just regular dial thermometer. Not the special. Get the little clip on it for the um, up on the side of the fire down part. So we know that the temperature is still pretty down there. This here should be the gravity test kit. How confused. And that's what we got. Here's a little screw together tube thing to put your beer into and all that. Oh, I've got a nice little rack that came with it. Set it up. But um, basically, what you do is you take this out and this get your beer poured into it. This is in a case, it's not. I'm not going to open it here, I'm going to wait. Don't want to get all contaminated and shit here. Yeah. But this sits in here and it'll float. And where it's floating in there will, with some math, tell you the uh, alcohol content of the beer. So, get the gravity test kit. Come on, man. Get the stars hanging. More than likely, cut all this here. Let's see how it looks when I stand on it. And as you can, I'm going to add the links to everything again in this video. And I'm going to put all my social media sites on the video as well. There's, um, I'll get into that in a minute, in a few minutes. Again, this isn't really an unboxing. That video, like, I'm testing, so I will not, I don't want to, let me rephrase that. It's not an unboxing thing to raise some. It's just an unboxing video to see what we got, make sure everything was here and everything's all ready. So the day that we do decide to start to brew, we're ready to go. We'll just set up and brew. Let's play. This here says it's the burner. I really don't think that they would lie. It's just, like I said, it's just a um, five gallon pot burner. Probably mostly that down here. Hang on, bear with me a minute. I'm trying to work backwards here. There you go. Just a five gallon pot burning and you set a five gallon pot on it and brew it and you're good to go. So that is. So I'll just leave the camera right there. You don't need to be watching me the whole time, I guess. Probably really don't want to either. I won't mind if you did. So, and you know, there's any instructions on how to put it all together. And the gas controller and uh, propane bottle connector. It's all in. So it's all good to go. stuff was extra stuff for it. This here is the actual brew kit.
Who loves it? We do. We do because we prove it. Nice. Okay. So I ran off the walk here. We got the ready set brew. Same thing I already printed. The list of everything that came in it. I showed you on the other video. I already got this. So, what do we got here? Oh, this is the front porch pale ale with the yeast. Everything is here. Okay, so this one here is the uh, poured in malt. Right here, this one you just add into the um, um, brew pot as you brew it. Set that up to the side here for now. There's the premium hops. Sit that off to the side. Get some more malt. Freshly drinks. Freshly packed. Nice malt. Some of it. This is one of those um, pop and set control temperature area. There we go. What is this? And we got the culture. And we got the thing that we dump all the stuff in and put it in the uh, thing so you not spill it out everywhere. And we got the instructions. The bear. It's good. I'm good. I still printed it anyway. But that's good. It's always good to have extra. Pop this back in here. Again, we don't need it out for anything right now. Very well. Assuming that's the ferment lid. Get the metal pot lid for the um, brew. For the bottle. For everything. Okay. Just put that in there. Put that in there. Alright. Here we got the bubbler, the airlock. Spout for the five gallon bucket. Hose, transfer. A beer bottle cap. It's ready to work. Guessing it's some type of hose clip. Used to know rinse cleanser at the time with the kit. I bought the star sand, but we'll probably be able to use this one just to use it. I'm going to bottle capper. Show this here. I'm not going to open it up the top of the kit, but sits down over the, sits down over the bottle like that and then just press the bottle. Here's the bottle filler. This is cool because this is that one that when you squeeze it down in the bottle, like so on this end, it stops the flow. Sanitizer, five foot length um, for siphoning, bottle and spigot assembly, fermentation lock, cleaner sanitizer, bottle caps, and so you know how it all comes. It's got everything listed right there. 
I'm going to just open my eyes. I would have seen that. Of course. I saw another video before where the guy's head on the ramp, on a lip. It's not to bring nothing to me. Okay. It's all present. Here, here, uh, I'll just set this aside and do this one at a time. Twenty percent off our next order. Okay. This here must be for men with the airlock. Right here. Let's get the little hole where you mount this paint. Also has the Okay, it's right here. Tells you how much is in there. Here's the same thing. Not really sure what the deal is. I'll have to read the instructions on this. It's uh, this one. I'll have the hole for the speaker. Get our should be a five gallon pot. Doesn't say, but I believe it is. It's supposed to be a five gallon pot for doing our uh, boiling and cooking of everything. You know right out. And this here is the piece that we um. First up, we're starting our mix. If I'm not mistaken, this was for transporting from this. Okay, I gotta figure it out. The one with the hole in it, this one here with the hole in it, which is right there. This is for the bottom procedure. This bucket here is that one. That bucket there is for the um, fermentation period. So it's all present in camera four. Back in. Put it in there. Put that back in there. And I don't remember how this goes. Apparently not the same way I just did it. That's fine. Come back. Pretty well. Temperature control here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through and um, list off everything that was in there because I didn't actually know the name. Because again, I've never done this before. This is going to be a complete learning experience and you all ride along with me and see if I can learn how to brew beer. Okay, so let's see. Number one, the brew kettle, which is the stainless steel pot, it's the brew kettle. Stirring paddle, we saw that, that was the big ladle spoon. The recipe kit, which is the front porch parallel. Oxy wash cleaner, that's the stuff that came, but I bought the star sand, so. I don't know, we might use the uh, one that came with it just for this brew, or I don't know, maybe we'll just use the star sand. Every, every video I saw, I just recommended using the star sand, so that's why I did the star sand. 
racking came. Number five. That's what that clear tube was. I'm not sure what the racking cane is. He used the racking cane. Here we go, transferring from tank to tank. He used the racking cane to transfer beer between brewing vessels. Soften one end of the tubing by running it under hot water. Slide the tubing one inch over the curved end of the racking cane. Okay? So that's what that's for. Because that's right, you don't want a lot of um, air and stuff getting into the when you're changing. Okay. Rack and cane holder. That's what that little clip was. I guess you clip it on a five gallon bucket, set it down inside of there and just let it go. I believe if I remember correctly when I saw the video, again if you know how to brew and you're watching this just seeing how dumb I am on this. I've never done this, so I'm just going by what I've seen. Fermenter for lid. There a lot. We saw that. That was that funky tube shape thing. Bottling bucket is the one with the spigot on it. Okay. Bottling spigot. We saw that. It connects to the thing. Bottle filler. That was that piece I showed you that was still in the plastic but it goes all the way down in the bottom of the bottle. As you hold it, it'll fill the bottle, but as you lift it up, supposedly uh, the tube in there, when the bottle comes out full and you pull it out, the tube gives you the right amount of space, supposedly. We'll find out on bottling day. The bottle capper and the bottle caps. Okay, um, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but um, fermentation. After pitching the yeast, you want to create an airtight seal on your fermenter. Put the bucket lid on the fermenter, push down and secure. Fill airlock with water and insert in the hole of the bucket lid. I already read the transfer, and that was the one with questioning how you use the um, Racking cane and what that was, which was that little hell shape clear tube. Priming and bottling. On bottling day, you'll prime your beer for carbonation and bottle direct from the bottling bucket. Install the spigot in the hole of the bottling bucket using one o ring on each side of the bucket wall. Thread the nut on the right hand tight, just enough to secure the spigot. Attach the tubing from the racking cane assembly to the spigot output. Detach the racking cane first. Match it so. You never know. Slide the other end of the tubing over the bottle filler. And then you just put it in the bottle and there you go. Then there's just tips and tricks down there at the bottom. This carries over to the next page and I'm going to set up with that. And then here we got um, front porch paleo. It's a five gallon recipe. We'll get in all that and uh, brew day. Which I don't know yet when that's going to be. It's going to be when I'm get time to do it and get it all done. I'm just doing this video now and get it up there so we can see everything that came in. And basically, it wasn't an unboxing and doing all that. It was just an unboxing, show you all everything that came in. Again, I have all this at home, so I will. Open it. Edit this because there's some stuff I'm going to cut out. I'm not going to put in me putting everything back together because I didn't feel like getting up and stop the camera, start the camera, stop the camera, start the camera. So we will um, do all that. Plus, I ramble on a lot, so I'm going to cut some of my rambling out. But anyway, let's get back to the case of point. I'm going to 
but all the links to everything that was ordered to create each individual piece. The kit comes as one. All the other stuff was individually ordered. So I'll put the link for that. I'll put the link for the Midwest supplies where everything was ordered from. And um picked the video back up on Brute. And um Again, the way I'm going to do this, this one here is the first deal. I, the next videos, this is the only one that's going to have the explanation video, which is already up. Going to have the um, unboxing video, which is here, and the brew and any other steps in between on the brew and um, bottling and then the tasting. All the rest of the videos, if I order whatever I order for the next brew, I'm going to um, post that. It'll be a short video. I'm going to post that on the social media sites. So I'm going to put the links to all those in there. So you come over and follow me on there. You'll know ahead of time when there's going to be a brew coming. And when that, but all the videos on the next brews down the road. This again, I'm going to have what I ordered for a brew. And a little description of what it is. I'm going to post that to Facebook, YouTube. I mean Facebook, um, Twitter, um, Tumblr. Um, Instagram, post that up there, but the rest of the videos are just going to be the brew, any steps that come along with the brew, like some of them I saw where you got to do more steps after sitting for a little while, then the bottling, I'm not going to worry about video and taking it, bottling, because after you bottle you get to let it sit for like, like a week of that, and then you um, go into um, chilling it and then serving it. So what I'm going to do with those is film whatever steps are come up in between them. And then I will um, film the bottle and then the tasting when we do it. Because like I said, I'm going to do a tasting of all the brews we do. I'm going to get other people together and we'll just do a tasting while we'll have a little get together. And I'll get them to sign a waiver so I can put a video on YouTube and everything and um, we'll do a tasting and get everybody's opinion. It's not so much to tell me I suck as to tell me what it's too hoppy, it's too sweet, it's too, it's too whatever. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and um, pretty much conclude this video. This again was just an opening. And Make sure everything was here and everything is here and go from there. Um, take this home, I'll edit it up tonight, maybe tomorrow morning. I'll get the video up, post it um, by noontime, it's tomorrow. I'm good to go with all that and um, we'll go from there. So, thanks for watching and to the brew day.